everyone, it's Justine, and welcome back to the Five Days of Foiling. Today is the final day with myself and Laurel Beard, and as always, I will link to her video in the video description below. Today I'm going to talk about storage. So I use this Avery binder here that I got at Staples, and I'll link to one below in the video description. It might not be the same pattern, but I'll link to the same one. And I use these heavy-duty pockets that have a top little flap at the top so that nothing falls out. And I like to use these to store everything. So I label them on the side for my parchment paper, my toner sheets, and my clear toner sheets. I store all in here all together right at the front. And then I go on into the colors that are multicolored, like the rainbow and the summer splash. And then I just go in a random order here or an order that makes sense in my head. Yellow and then orange, pink red, purple, etc. And I have them all labeled. So I have them labeled by company, some of them. Some of them I kind of forgot, um, but generally you could do it either way. And that way I know when I take the last piece of foil, I know to order some more. So I, you can see here that I have them all labeled on the side. So I have, for example, the deco foil. This is the jade, but then I also have G, this Gina K Designs turquoise C, and it goes on and on. And now for colors where I have multiple different ones, for example, silver, I keep the solid at the front and then I keep some of the patterns here behind it. So you can see the different ones, the sparkling, the sequins and the shattered glass. And I tend to have a lot of the silvers, the golds. These are the ones that I use the most often versus the colors. So I like to have those in stock. I also keep my foil mates at the back of these. These coordinate to be foiled. So I keep all my holiday ones in one pouch. I just slip them in on the side and they're the same pouches I use for the foil. I have all my backgrounds here as well. And then I have backgrounds and then the whatever I have left over for sentiments that I haven't used yet. And that's how I store them all. So I keep them all in this binder and they're handy whenever I need them. I also wanted to show you how I store some of the other things that I showed in the series. So for example, the stamp and foil. These are the Gina K Design stamp sets. I have them in Avery L Extra Large stamp pockets. And I keep the original backing here from the stamp to separate them. And then in the back, I keep the coordinating dies on a small magnet sheet from My Favorite Things. And then also I have the foil mates tucked into the back as well so that I have them all together when I want to use the stamp set. That way I keep everything organized in one pocket and it is also labeled with my label maker. So to go ahead and label, I use one of these label makers here from Brother. I originally got the idea from Jennifer McGuire to label my stamp sets. And this is a Brother P-Touch H105, and I love the way that it looks. So I have it set on large, and I just have uh, two lines so that I put Gina K Designs, and then I have the name of the stamp set here. And I just peel off the back, and then I can stick them onto the side here. I also use uh, some of the generic labels versus Brother because I find them a lot cheaper and I'll link to those below in the supply list as well from Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at how I store some of the supplies that I showed off this week. I hope you enjoyed all the foiling techniques and that you're interested in giving it a try that you do so. Don't forget to leave a comment here. I have a $25 gift certificate up for grabs. I have yesterday's video here as a suggested video if you happen to miss out and mine and my Laurel's channel here that you can subscribe to. Don't forget to click over to her channel now. I believe she is showing off all of the techniques kind of combined on her cards or various techniques that she's used by combining the things that you learned this week. Bye.